Welcome back my fellow foodies, today I'll be reviewing Dim Tea. It's over in London Bridge, behind the Shah, extremely close to City Hall. Close to London Bridge Station. It's a three to four minute walk. Now, when it comes to parking in that area, I did find parking, but it was really difficult to find the parking. And we ended up some way away from Dim Tea. Mum was back from India. It was the first time my sister, my mother and I had time to spend some time together. So I was to go out and have a nice meal. My sister just in one place. I closed an early that night. Story of my life these days and <laughs> Found somewhere else. It happens to be dim tea. We're sat in the booth. We have to clean it up ourselves. We haven't ordered yet. Let's look at the menu. So far, so it's been a little bit slow. Probably the top of my voice. It's been a while. My throat is really dry. I'm waiting for the drink. I'm hungry and thirsty. It's been a long day. I'm tired. It's already past 10 o'clock. Start of the starters. There's some of the prawns here. The sesame chicken toast. I've never had that before. I was looking forward to trying that. My mum's vegetarian option. Dessert dumplings. I can't taste anything but burntness. It's a lot of burnt. Yeah, the food's not really amazing. So, mum said about the vegetarian food that the dumplings were quite hard, the pastry, and tough to break. It's pretty average. That's the nasi garai. It's made of chicken and pork. Sweet coconut. It's like eating rubber right now. In terms of sexual taste, there's a lack of taste. That's hers. taste for me, personally, was pretty average. What my sister had was absolutely below average. I never tasted such fishy prawns. And my mum wasn't impressed either by her vegetarian option. She found it extremely bland. I'll give them a 5 out of 10. Some service. It was extremely slow. It took them time to come over to us after we'd been seated. Getting us our food and drink took ages as well. It also brought us the wrong bill at the end. But the lady was apologetic enough, found out what the problem was. And she seemed a nice enough lady. She took the feedback from us on the chin. To be fair, there's probably very little she could do. There was little to nothing that she could have done to change our experience. So I'm not going to hold it against her. She seemed genuine enough. I'll give them a 6 out of 10 for customer service. So when we were seated, the table that we were seated at was pretty dirty and hadn't been cleaned up. But I looked around, a couple of tables hadn't been cleaned up, but for the most part, everything else seemed pretty clean. Until I went to the toilet, they were having an absolute meh. The toilets were really unclean, there was toilet paper all over the place. For myself, if Riley Sorolla saw this, genuinely I thought of him and thought, dude, you're going to have a field day here. The tables themselves seemed relatively clean so I'd give them a 5 out of 10. Value for money. Because they were generous and they were extremely filling. These portions have been shrinking in London so I'm gonna give them a solid 7 out of 10. Overall that's a score of 23 out of 40. Would I go back? I wouldn't go back for the food. I would go back for drinks because it's so scenic outside. There's places where if you're not picky about your food and you just want to get filled up on something and you want a great view and a bit of ambient then yeah, it's a great place for you. It was so scenic in fact that I made a little video that I'm gonna show at the end of this video. It was lovely. I really enjoyed the views. So guys, until the next one, take care, keep enjoying your food. Blood is burning by my bed for you.